My name is Pam Cheney. That would look like a very busy working mom who was busy checking all the things off of her list, trying to get as many tasks done and as possible, and who left very little time in her day to restore or rest herself. So what I would end up doing is going for weeks at a time and then I would have like a crash weekend and that would be my self-care. Nap, rest, try to soak it all back up. The bad thing is at that point I was completely depleted, exhausted, and um, didn't realize how, how, that, how little self-care I was giving myself on a daily basis. Well, today it starts with um, getting a good night's rest, so I make sure I go to bed early. That sets my tone for the very next day, so uh, getting a good night's rest so I can get up early because I have now a daily routine that sets me up for uh, eating healthy, um, giving myself time to set my day. Um, I like to start with a workout, exercise, then I have some prayer and meditation time. Um, depending on the day of the week, I might also work in my yoga. And then I want a little bit of time before I have to go into work just to kind of get, um, you know, anything prepped that I need for the day, packing a healthy lunch. Um, so that's what it looks like today. Um, yoga has really taught me how to slow down how to slow the mind, how to sit in stillness, in, in quiet, just to help calm down, slow down, relax, restore, um, and, and rejuvenate. I think it has also taught me how to really look within, look within instead of looking outward, whether whatever emotions might be impacting me that day, um, instead of looking for external causes or sources um, or blaming it on something else, I now look at, okay, what it within me is causing me to react in that way? So it's really causing me to look inward instead of outward. And the, the same would be true for even the positive emotions. Um, if I'm looking for, you know, um, joy or, or relaxation, instead of looking outwardly to find that, I know that I'm the one that can um, provide that for myself. I think the biggest impact it has is starting with the individual. It really teaches us to live our, love ourselves first. And when we learn to love ourselves first, we are able then to give love to others. So if we can all embrace the opportunity to love ourselves more, think about how much more love would be available to everyone in our community. Biggest challenge is facing your fears, learning how to face your fears. Um, I know that, that one of my biggest fears is feeling safe in relationships. This one gets tough. <laughs> um, but, it's not until you're willing to face those fears are you able to overcome them and then to make use of the tools that the yoga lifestyle provides and teaches you how to access those tools when you need them so that something like fear or, or whatever your biggest fear is doesn't paralyze you or keep you trapped or keep you stuck, but it allows you to overcome, move past it, and provide yourself with that feeling of safety or whatever it is you're needing personally. The, the biggest impact, I think, is just understanding that I am the one that possesses all the tools that are needed to overcome my fears or overcome my obstacles in life. I am the one that possesses all of the, the um, skills or tools that I need to provide myself with happiness, safety, um, or whatever it is that I'm seeking. Um, it's just like the story of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. We've all got our red ruby slippers. We've always had them, 
and we always will. It's just remembering to use them. And again, that comes from looking inward. We possess all the tools that it takes to create our own happiness, our own peace, our own joy. It's always there.